welcome to a new vlog. This is a special vlog, as always. No, it's a vlog, but it is midsummer in Sweden today, so yeah, we're celebrating here in Spain as well. Midsummer is pretty special to Jun and I because we got married last year on Midsummer, but our wedding day is actually tomorrow because in Sweden you celebrate Midsummer on a Friday every year and last year the 22nd of June was on a Friday so our actual wedding day is tomorrow but we're gonna celebrate it a bit today as well <laughs> I will show you guys how we celebrate Midsummer but first I wanted to give you guys a little pregnancy update um, it feels like I don't talk about it at all because I kind of forget about it right now I'm in week 18 tomorrow I will enter week 19 so almost halfway which is insane this week we went to another ultrasound which was super exciting this was our third ultrasound it's just such a surreal feeling and uh, can't really describe it but yeah let's have a look at how that looked so hey guys now we are on our way to an ultrasound yes it's the third one i think i think so Yes. We've had to keep everything so secret that it's yes. hard to keep count. So now it's the week 18 one. So I will see if we will do the big ultrasound now. I think so. Uh, but we'll see. Is there a big and a small? Yeah, the big one is like, ooh, you check everything. So it has to, like, all the fingers and toes and the brain and everything. I don't so know anything. Healthy I'm just sort of <laughs> following the log. Yes. I'm a bit nervous, like uh, every ultrasound. Yun is not. <laughs> well now, I mean, of course. Yeah. When, when they do check before they say... It's like, oh. uh, but yeah, so we're going there now and I will see how much I can film. We filmed a bit last time. So we will try to film something now, because it's fun to see. Yeah. It's gonna probably be just as unreal as the last one where it feels like you're in a movie set. Exactly. And they're showing someone uh, else's belly. Yes. And I will also ask about my blood, uh, if I'm uh, RH negative or positive, because I think I'm negative, so we'll see. Interesting. Oh, my arm hurts. See you in there. Very fast. can't really believe that I actually have a baby in my belly. But uh, yeah, I guess I will understand that when the baby's out. I found out that I am RH negative, which is my blood type is negative. So I will have to take an extra shot in week 28 and also when the baby is born. Uh, my sister has the same, but this is, if any one of you know, I need to like, do some proper research on this. It doesn't really matter, you take a shot and everything is fine. But if the baby is positive, you do that to like... Not, it's not dangerous for the first baby, it's more if you don't take the shot for... If you want other babies, that's when it can get like your body is not liking the baby. <laughs> but that's the second pregnancy. But if you take the shot, everything is fine. But I wanted to know like how strong is that gene? Because my mom is positive, my dad is positive. But both me and my sister are negative. So our grandma has negative, RH negative. I wonder if her gene can be that strong. So we get it, if you know what I mean. Super interesting anyhow. So yeah, I found out I have that, so I will have to take a shot in week 28. It doesn't really matter. It was just like, oh, okay. Now I know at least, which I'm super happy that I get to know. So you don't find out after. So that's a good thing with living in a country where they can actually check it if you want more kids later on. My symptoms for week 18 has been 
nothing really. I feel the same still. I've been a bit more moody this week, um, like easily annoyed and like not like huge difference, but I can just feel that I'm more easily irritated. Um, but hopefully that goes away. Today I'm happy, so that's good. Um, I work out the same, I eat the same. I thought I would post more like pregnancy related workouts, like what I do and stuff like that. I will try to train with uh, Richard and Megan that we trained with last year before the wedding. They also know pregnancy training, so I will ask them all about a lot of things and maybe do a video about it. I'll ask them if they want to do it because I know it was super hard for me in the beginning to know what can I train, what can I do, what can I not do and stuff like that. So I thought I would do that. So other than that, I've been feeling like normal, nothing really. I've been eating a lot like usual. I'm waiting for my belly to start really growing. I wanted to like, you know when you Google pictures of girls in like week 18, week 17, 18, 19, and they have like a proper belly. I'm like, I want that too. I just feel swollen, which is a bit boring, but hopefully it will just overnight, like poof, I will have a belly. Uh, it feels mostly like my boobs are gonna explode any second now and I don't really want to know how big they're gonna get and that's why I'm like hiding them now I don't feel really comfortable because they're like <sighs> yes but yeah so far so good I feel great I'm super happy that I can feel this well while being pregnant and uh, yeah maybe you guys want to see the belly I can show you that because I know I think it's funny to see it's not that much that has happened but okay this is week 18, almost 19 belly. So this, this from the front and then from the side. It's just a bit swollen like down here. So not a lot, but at least it's starting to grow. <laughs> Crazy to think that the baby is like 18, 17, 18 centimeters in there. Now I'm gonna go and prepare the food. Everyone is gonna arrive. My family is gonna arrive. Jules' family is here, so we're all gonna celebrate midsummer together. And uh, I love midsummer. Love it. So yeah, let's go out and prep some food. I just have to get changed. Maybe do some makeup, fix my hair. But first of all, get changed. So I will see you guys out there. So I have changed. Hans is ready. Maria is ready. Are you ready, Hans? Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. So we've been cooking, and now we're gonna do like uh, everyone is here. Ta-da! It's been packed in here. So now we're gonna do the uh, pre-drink or welcome drink. Uh, uh, right? Alcoholic free. Exactly. We have the uh, Riccardulin uh, non-alcoholic uh, sparkling wine, and then we have some. Uh, a peach, peach uh, puree that we mixed, and then here we have all the food. Boys, okay. <laughs> of course, delicious. Delicious. I will show you later. But first, we're gonna make the drinks for everyone. everyone. Skål. Skål. a long lunch everyone is now gone we have cleaned out the kitchen it was a long lunch and I just want to show you like in Sweden we celebrate midsummer as I said and then we usually put like these flower crowns usually you wear like proper flower crowns but uh, this is all we have here in Spain <laughs> um, I think now that we're gonna head on to the beach no to the pool everyone else is already at the pool so I'm gonna go down hang out in the Shade. 
Maybe go for a swim. We'll see. But lunch was really good. Heaven. Okay, time to get into the water for a while. So when it's midsummer, you eat most of the time. And now... What are you eating? Chick chicken nuggets and french fries. Okay, midsummer dinner. Very good. Influencer midsummer. Swedish midsummer mixed with Spanish. Chicken tender. For monsieur. Enjoy. Cool kids from the block. Hey! They're hiding. Mom is hanging out. Yes. And here everyone is hanging out too. We're talking about. Oh, yeah. So, we are talking about if you want, if you could get 200 years old, would you? I said, if I could be fresh, for sure. You said, for sure, sure not. For sure not. Why not? What can happen? What? I think like I'm done in. But how do you years? know? Can you imagine how much you no, can well, experience in 200 really years? It's really boring. If you're fresh. I don't, it, no, it doesn't matter if I'm fresh or not. Okay. It's going to be boring. So, what would you guys do? Would you do it or no? If you had the choice. Would you guys? 200 is way too much. If you're fresh in your body. Yeah, but you've already done everything in life. How do you know? Well, because <laughs> you're like 16. <laughs> What do you Salman? say, Isaac? No, I am not. I would for sure do it. Would you like yeah, to be 100, I would do it. 100 years. What? Salman would do it. Years. Yeah. Would be 200. Yes. Me too. If I have a fresh body, yes. Yes, me too. Exactly. Jesper and... Uh, Alfred? Alfred? You? Yes, for sure. Alfred? Yes. Okay. And then I have to be 200. <laughs> yes. So... To take care of you. It's boy. me and the guys. We're going to be 200 years old. And you. Yes. Yes. Mom wants to be 202. Yeah. 202. <laughs> 202. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna have, get my hair done, right? Right? Yes, yes, I will fix that. Just wanna show you how pretty it is now on the sunset. Me too, where are they? I think they are down here. Below the tree. tree. I don't think you guys can hear them. How do you know they are tree? <laughs> Behind the tree. <laughs> I think there are three. It's a beautiful night. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There they are. One, two, three. There were actually. Three. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> what are the odds? Yep. Okay. Now, hair fixing time. So, I just had a shower. Everyone left, and it is getting late. It's still bright outside, but it's. Uh, Time is it? I think it's almost 10 o'clock and I am gonna do like my night routine and then I'm gonna go to bed but I have no idea how much I filmed. It feels like I didn't film anything today uh, but um, yeah this is what we did our midsummer. <laughs> we didn't really do uh, that much. I guess the next vlog I will have a more focus on vlogging because it's pretty hard when you're this many people to actually remember to vlog and I wanted to hang out with my brother and my aunt and her family because we don't see each other that often and um, Yul's family of course. Now midsummer is all over and tomorrow is our wedding day. So exciting. My mom made a braid by the way. Super nice. I've been thinking if the next vlog will be the gender reveal. What do you guys think? I kind of want to post it straight away. I kind of don't want to keep it for you, from you guys anymore, but it's also nice to have a little secret. But we'll see on Sunday if I post a gender reveal or if I will post a regular vlog. I put eye cream. I'm gonna give you a tip. When you put eye cream, always start from inside and then go out. But yeah. That's everything from this vlog. I hope you guys liked it, even though I don't think it's that long. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Ciao, ciao. See ya.